Welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking you on a journey to discover the ultimate Maltese lifestyle with our top 5 insider tips from a Maltese born national that moved overseas over a decade and a half ago. Watch till the end as we'll also give you two negatives about the island. My name is Trafford. I'm here to help you become a global citizen and attain financial and travel independence. My team and I at Porticone Bridge specialize in working with high and ultra high net worth individuals just like yourselves. We are here to help you find your freedom and choose where you belong. Malta, my country of birth. A beautiful island at the heart of the Mediterranean Sea. This is a place that gave me everything. An English-speaking education, excellent healthcare, one of the strongest passports in the world. Taking me to over 180 countries, visa fee or visa on arrival. The place that taught me life's values. It's always emotional when you are talking about your country of birth. So videos like this are my small way of thanking this beautiful paradise for making me the person I am today. So as I said, with the emotional, emotional preamble done, let's jump into the five lifestyle tips. Tip number one, embrace the Mediterranean cuisine. From delicious pastizzi to Maltese bread, fresh seafood. Maltese cuisine is a true delight for your taste buds. Don't forget to try our famous rabbit stew, a local speciality that will leave you craving for more. The second tip, or the next one up, is to explore the historic sites. Malta's home, some of the oldest if not the oldest megalithic temples in the world such, such as the awe-inspiring Chikantia temples immerse yourself in the rich history and uncover the secrets of the past for tip number three we have to talk about the breathtaking beaches with crystal clear turquoise waters and golden sandy shores. Malta boasts some of the most picturesque beaches in the Mediterranean. Embrace the island's work-life balance. So get your suntan lotion re ready and enjoy life. Maltese weather is truly remarkable. Now let's move on to tip number four. Experience the vibrant local culture from lively village feasts to traditional music and dance. The Maltese culture is vibrant and captivating. Immerse yourself in the local traditions and celebrate life the Maltese way. Maltese are a welcoming nation and English is an official language making it easy to build a new group of friends. Being English speaking makes it so much easier believe me i have lived in a number of countries from portugal to china to vietnam including singapore and which one was easiest to move to singapore due to the fact that they are english speaking last but not least tip number five embrace a mediterranean lifestyle that to us mediterraneans consists of balanced diet with lots of olive oil and fresh produce but also one where all foods are allowed and encouraged but within moderation loads of physical exercise biking or running as transportation leisure time physical activities such as dancing and engaging in active hobbies such as gardening the weather in Malta permits this also very important is a Mediterranean sleep pattern that allows for adequate rest. 
Why not? A short time midday siesta. Hey, it's the Mediterranean after all. Another one would be strong social ties. A fine time to meet with locals for a coffee or a beer and create lasting friendships. After all, this is what life is all about. So, how can you be part of this dream? By leveraging the advantages and benefits of the Malta Permanent Residency Program, the MPRP, and you'll be able to experience a diverse and wonderful life in Malta as part of Europe. As promised earlier, I will mention two negatives of life in Malta. And if you stay till the end, I'll also mention a bonus tip. Although they may not significantly impact your experience, I believe it's essential to be aware of them. The first one is the high population density. Malta, being a small island nation, has a high population density, which means many people live in a relatively small area. This is particularly evident in popular urban areas such as bustling tourist destinations like Valletta, the capital city, Slema, St. Julian's, etc. As a result of the high population density, you may experience some challenges related to traffic congestion and crowded public spaces, especially during peak tourist seasons. When the island attracts many visitors or many tourists due to its beauty. During busy periods such as summer, tourist areas and popular attractions can be quite or are quite crowded. This may lead to longer wait times at restaurants and on public transport. Additionally, traffic congestion, as I mentioned, can be more pronounced in and around urban centers of Slema, St. Julian's, Valletta, as I mentioned earlier. So how can you mitigate this? I would suggest to explore off-peak hour or embrace an off-peak hour strategy. Plan your visits to popular attractions and dining experiences during off-peak hours, such as late morning or early afternoon. The Maltese like to have a late dinner, normally would have dinner around about 8 p.m. or later. This strategic approach allows you to enjoy a more relaxed and serene environment without crowds. Also, I suggest you embrace sustainable transportation. Opt for public transportation, which is air conditioned and relatively cheap. Either or walking or biking in congested areas. Not only does this help you reduce traffic congestion, but it allows you to immerse yourself in the island's scenic beauty at a leisurely pace while staying fit and healthy. Embracing these eco-friendly choices adds to the overall enjoyable and authentic experience of living or visiting Malta. The next point is the weather. During the summer months, it gets very hot, believe me, and also uncomfortable, especially during heat waves reaching up to 40 degrees Celsius. Therefore, always ensure to protect your skin and drink a lot of water. However, this doesn't reduce the charm of this beautiful island. Malta's picturesque landscapes and ancient architecture still holds many fascinating discoveries for you. Though the island's area is not extensive, its mesmerizing coastal scenery will undoubtedly captivate you. So now to our bonus tip that I mentioned earlier. Malta is a booming economy and the negative is naturally the constant construction taking place. If you move to Malta and either decide to rent or invest in a property, ensure that there are no construction sites close by, as they can be 
quite no noisy. So that's it for today. I hope your journey in Malta will be as incredible and meaningful as mine was. As a proud Maltese living overseas, I naturally welcome you to Malta. If you have any experiences you would like to share with our like-minded community, just drop them in the comment section below. See you next time and make it a great day.